hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Kenna and if this is the first time you're seeing me you're very welcome please click on the subscribe button you're going to love it here because on this channel we do a lot of videos we do a variety of videos here I do vlogs about my life my family where to eat my environment a lot of vlogs I also do sit down videos chit chats like this one where I give you guys my opinion on different things I talk we chat and not forgetting if you love food this is also a channel for you because here we cook we cook all we cook all kinds of food we bake we fry we cook so if you like any of these things kindly click on the subscribe button you are not going to regret it you're going to like me i'm going to love you we're going to be friends we're going to quarrel we're going to make up okay guys no we're not going to quarrel don't 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 hear me say we're going to quarrel you're like bye anyway guys today i'm going to be talking about sex about the do the do okay and uh, you know youtube policy language and things like that so i might not be completely explicit but yeah that's what we're going to be talking about and i'm going to be talking about this this is like i have so many variants i want to talk about this like i want to talk this year guys i am um, no jokes i want to talk about this because the problems that sex is causing in marriages in real life in like it causes so many problems so there are so many dimensions i would like to talk about this i don't know how this video is going to go but yeah there are so many dimensions i want to talk about this so if you're interested to see what i have to say keep watching okay so like i said this video might just be one of the many to come and i want to talk about sex like i said and i'm going to talk about women complaining about their men not being not satisfying them in bed women complaining about not being sexually sat satisfied women complain about being um sexually frustrated and all that and it is so sad that a lot of marriages today a lot of marriages today when you want to look at one of their key problems it's always going to be sex either the man is saying this woman is never agreeing to have sex with me or the woman is saying this man all he wants to do is do they do they do they do or i don't enjoy it or something but you always hear that this is a problem and i have said it in so many of my videos why this is always coming back why we're always having this problem of it is simply because of education we only we oh my god our society has made it to look like this thing is a bad thing we are not supposed to talk about it you talk about sex you're a bad person it is a problem in our african society it's a huger problem in our Cameroonian society which i'll be dwelling on because that is where i'm coming from it is so annoying that people are sexually frustrated that people are not being satisfied in their homes they are not enjoying the whole act because of this thing that we have put around it oh if you talk about it you are this type of person if you talk about it it's bad and i feel like it stems from the part where parents were just trying to protect their kids so the easiest way or the easiest thing you could do to your kids was just to tell your kids this thing is bad if you do it you will die you will get pregnant or you will have a venereal disease and you will die or your your pim pim is going to fall off or you will feel pain so don't do it don't go near it don't think about it no don't go anywhere around it that is why where the biggest problem comes from it's pretty annoying that because of the way our parents or people in the past decided to handle this whole sex thing having having sex thing with their kids a lot of people are now looking at it like it's a bad thing sex is a beautiful thing sex is an enjoyable thing you can always talk about this with your kids without making them feel like if you talk about it no you don't even talk don't even bring it up don't even talk about it it's it's a taboo subject like no that is where the problem begins from like oh my god guys i don't even want to go into the history of the whole sex thing but we all know that that's where the problem starts from the funny thing about this whole sex thing is that when you get now when we have that education from our parents for those whose parents will even talk to them about it you go now to school and they give you the basics about education that is where majority of people in our society today guys their knowledge about sex ends people don't think that they need to go further to learn about it ask questions about it if you're trying it practice let me not say practice that sounds like 
you learn on the job like if there's one thing we need to know and have in our heads is that sex there's nobody on this earth that was born with the skill of having perfect sex or making love like it's something that you learn with the act you get so for you to first of all enjoy sex you have to be open-minded one open-minded which a lot of women don't seem to be open-minded a lot of Cameroonian women do not seem to be open-minded about sex they're just like ah, eh, no, I beg you have to open my leg like that are you okay no I can't do that I can't do this I can't do that you are the cause of your own frustration because sometimes so men get tired when they try to be adventurous when they try to do different things and different styles with you and you're constantly like oh my god i cannot do this hey my back be hot oh this one please i will not be able i will not be able the guy just gets tired and the guy is like you know what i don't even want to try anymore at the end you're like but why is my man not it's because of things like that a lot of people fail to understand that since this is not something that they can teach you teach you teach you everything you also have to it's more of a practical kind of thing so you have to do the practicals with your partner you have to learn the new styles with your partner you have to explore your body with your partner this is what makes you you try this one today you do not like it you try that one tomorrow but a lot of people just feel like oh no especially women feel women were grown up to be thought they taught us that oh it's the man's thing okay and also the men feel like whatever thing they are doing the woman is enjoying it but no not every single thing you're doing it's not every single thing that you're doing that the woman is enjoying but anyway let me not talk to men today i feel like let me just let me just concentrate today on women and then the next one i'll talk on to my to men so a lot of men just have it in their minds that whatever thing that they are doing to the woman oh the woman is enjoying it she women, women like to pretend and that's another thing like why is it that a lot of women even when they're enjoying sex they're pretending <laughs> it's just it's just there you see, it's very difficult to see a woman i'll be like oh my god i enjoy sex it still goes back because we feel like sex is a bad thing what about sex is a bad thing sex is a beautiful thing it's a be oh my god but yeah you get so a lot of women are very uptight when it comes to sex because oh they have taught us that uh, if you like sex you're a bad person if you talk about sex you're immoral and just things like that so a lot of women are stuck up when it comes to sex a lot of women will not even enjoy it i know so many women women in 50s even who will tell you that oh i've never had an orgasm oh i really don't enjoy the thing it's just for my husband he should just do the thing and go and i feel so sad and i'm like oh my god how old are you again and you don't you are not enjoying sex sex is something beautiful sex is something that has to be enjoyed you have to enjoy it it's not something that you're just doing like oh it's out of duty oh i'm just doing it because and some of us women too are very lazy we are very very, very lazy when it comes to sex you just want to sit there open your legs how are you to enjoy it for you to enjoy it you also have to take part a lot of us are shy when i see people you're shy with your partner you cannot talk about sex with your partner i'm just like if you cannot talk about sex with your partner who else are you supposed to talk about sex with with your friends your brothers your sisters you have to be free to be able to talk about sex with your partner tell your partner oh no don't do this one i don't like it it makes me uncomfortable you can do it this way you can do it that way but no a lot of people couples they are ashamed to talk about sex they are shy and i'm like i don't know what is going on here but how can you be shy to talk about sex that is an integral uh, is an important part of marriage guys oh my god like it's an important part of marriage how can you be expecting to enjoy something if you don't talk about it how are you supposed to please each other if you don't ask that is why i love people who are vocal when it comes to sex there are guys that you're having sex with them and they're asking you are you enjoying it do you like it are you should i stop should i continue <sighs> anyway you get so that is it we need to women we need to do better try new things look good try new things seduce your man give him a lap dance like just not the same every day a lot of us like to point fingers a lot of women like to point fingers oh my husband he, he, he likes to ask me sex all the time my husband he likes to do this this my husband but you like to point the other person have you checked yourself have you tried have you tried to seduce him and 
it still did not work had you done everything that you can and then it still doesn't work some women are just like oh my husband he's not even putting in the effort to please me how does he have to put in effort have you communicated it with with him a lot of women will spend their time talking to other people about their sexual frustration but you're not talking about it with your partner because oh yeah shy if i tell him you think that i like sex too much if i tell him that I'm, I'm not i'm not enjoying it he'll be like so why have you gonna enjoy it before tell him let him say that like for me sex is one of those things that it's not you you don't have to be negotiating especially if you're married to this person it's something that you people have to enjoy for the rest of your life you're almost you're only 20 years old sorry 30 years old 25 years old five years two day uh, two years in marriage oh my god sex is already so boring sex is already a chore to you i'm just like women we need to stand up we need to we need to put in more effort so always when you feel like having sex with your husband move to him and tell him you want to have sex even if you are shy to say it touch him romance him seduce him do something it is not always the man's position to come and tell you okay baby let's do okay baby let's do okay i'm like no we have to be more fluid when it comes to sex because a lot of women are just lazy a, woman, a lot of women just feel like oh it's a man's thing um I, I don't have the strength let the man just come and do his thing and go i feel like when women feel like he should just come and do his thing and go it's because you're not having good sex because if you're having good sex you will be the one to be reminding him uncle it's sex o'clock so as women i feel like we don't have to i know some of your mothers would both have even told you that no just do the thing it's just it's for your husband just do it mm -mm. it's sex is about two people two people have to enjoy it as much as you just open your legs there you feel that like you're okay that's your own part to make your husband enjoy it it is also your husband's duty to ensure that he is making you enjoy sex because it's so sad how a lot of women are frustrated when it comes to sex a lot of women when i talk to women about sex you enjoy mm -hmm. I'm, um, the sex is just there. i really don't care like i'm thinking about other things i'm like sex is not my priority i don't care i don't like and I'm like, no, you have to be enjoying sex. If you, this, a sex reduces stress, sex makes you feel beautiful, sex makes you feel happy. So when some women are just like, mm, I hope, I'm like, no, it's not supposed to be like that, guys. Like, no, we need to enjoy sex. We need to talk more. We need to have more discussions about sex. We need to be more open when it comes to sex. Talk to your partner, talk to your friends, talk to, like, we need to normalize talking about sex, basically. People who talk about sex are not bad people. People who talk about sex are not are not particular kind of people. And I'm sure since I'm saying here that I want to talk a lot about sex on this channel, some people will now come, saying I don't spoil. Here to wake and talk for each other. Can I start talking about? Yes, you people will be all right. You will be all right. I have this platform that I feel like talking about certain things can educate things, educate people. We have some people who is just out of how they call it ignorance, out of plain ignorance. They don't even they don't even know what to do, how to do it, and all that. So if I feel like me talking about this is going to put some sense into some women's head or put some sense into some people's head then why not do it so yes a lot of women will complain my husband does not satisfy me in bed my husband i'm not sexually satisfied have you talked to your partner have you talked to him about it it's all about communicating when we we, we scream communication every day in marriage you have to communicate it's not only about problems communicate about problem when you, when you don't like this thing you say when you don't like this thing say you are, but when it comes now to things like sex you don't like it you don't want to talk because no they'll look at you in, in, a, in a certain kind of way anyway guys that is it for this video let me know what you think do you think i'm making any sense i just decided to concentrate on mostly women in this video because it's so sad to see that majority may not majority a lot of women have not had orgasms some other women will tell you that they have only had orgasms from touching themselves they have a man has never really made them to have an orgasm and i'm like if you know that doing this particular thing or touching yourself like this or when this particular thing is touched or stimulated you could easily have an orgasm why not tell, tell your partner why not tell your partner some women will be like no when you tell your partner it's going to make him to feel bad and i'm just like some of these men you people are the problem why would your woman tell you that this thing that you're doing is making her it's not it's not pleasing her and then you start feeling bad about it why if you really are open and you want 
each other to enjoy the experience you have to listen anyway guys that is it for this video if you really really enjoyed this and you want me to talk more about this educate more about this i'm going to try to bring people so that we talk more just give different opinions about sex and things like that just let me know in the comment section and i definitely will bring another one not saying the, i'm going i'm about to film the men section of this video so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section am i making any sense am i just rambling let me know and i'm going to see you guys soonest love you